Hello everybody. It's about past 1 a.m. in the morning. And we just experienced another flooding. For those of you who remember last year around this time, it was that up here, but now I want you guys to take a look at everything. I do mean everything. My room right here. Fans. See it's right up right there. Wow. Okay, it's here. This is what I get. I want to show you the spreading areas. I'm going to wash her dry right now because of where it's right there. And it all started because, well, I had to knock this out. And then if you look up, right up there. See it? the furnace I got hit. And why did that just happen? Because in there, there is a lack of insulation. And it was not only me, but the, um, um, Neighbors too. Look how thick it is up there. Yeah. See that side? Look at that. Ooh, look how squishy it still is. Wow. Uh, Ooh, all that in here. But do you know why this all happened? Do you want to know why this all happened? Basically what happened is the pipes went outside and inside. And so my neighbors who live above me got hit as well. The bathroom above me. Not lack of insulation. From our place going more towards their way, place that way. Because they have a little porch there. So, to say that I freaked out because what happened was, is when it burst, I woke up. So I was waking up from a nap or I heard something. And I'm like, what's all this water? I thought it was in the bathroom. It was there, where I just showed you. And, uh, yeah. It sucks right now, guys. It really, really sucks right now. Um, I had a complete meltdown. I'm going to tell you, I, I probably had the biggest meltdown breakdown I think I've had ever. Because, like, what if we weren't home? What if we decided to go out and thank God we did it? Because, you know, there's been so many accidents, too. And there's freak snow coming on and it's freak cold. Well, long story short, it could have been a lot worse. All this you see down here, all my stuff, and the stuff in the living room, we could have lost everything. And that would have been the biggest nightmare ever. And it started with, you see, what happened was is the night before, we had no hot water at all. We only had cold water, okay? 
and then in the morning when I was teaching, we had water. It seemed like everything worked normally. And then at noon, it busted and it was a waterfall. So almost every towel we have, as well as a few tablecloths and rags, are soaked. I probably done and gone with, I don't know right now. But we can't really wash them or do much with them right now at the moment. Because we were trying to soak it up. We didn't want to spread it any further. I mean, it's like we went into survival mode and we just the action. And yet, we did do this shit before, and it shouldn't be happening. But because of how they designed this place. Yeah, so. And if I sound like I sound, yeah. I've hit that wall, guys. So. So what I'll be doing is documenting. And I'll show you more of the daytime version or give you any updates that occur. But this is what happened, guys. Luckily, we caught it in time. Luckily, it was isolated. And luckily, it was in the ceiling because that was last year. That's all dry. So. Wash your fingers. More cold weather's coming. And. Yeah. I think this is. Let's put it this way. The building company has a lot to say for themselves. I will tell you that right now. So take care, everyone. Thanks for your love and support. And if you're wondering what you can do for me right now, definitely prayers, definitely love. If you want to help out in any way, just let me know. I don't care at this point. Because, yeah. When this shit happens, I feel like I'm partially homeless. And it sucks.